feel the weather change I can see it all around All around Can't you feel a new wind blow? Don't you recognize that sound? Well, welcome to Lake Merritt and the uh, Alchemy Symbology Show. We are making a short tour of the, the peninsula, and I'd like to start with the um, now infamous inner and outer uh, model of the sacred. It looks like this. It starts with a triangle. Permaculture, or P, is on one corner. New Alchemy, or A, is on another, and then New Mythology, or M, is here. So what we're looking at is the synchronicity between creating new myth with permaculture as a foundation, and alchemy as a spiritual source of that. In the end, the goal here, in our transition, is to redefine what sacred is, and that goes inside the triangle. So again, alchemy, myth, permaculture, new sacred. I feel the rumbling in her ground. I feel the rumbling. I feel the rumbling in her ground. Okay, we moved on to the community garden and the Japanese Zen symbol over here we'll talk about soon. What I'd like to do is look at some basics of permaculture in this beautiful uh, garden with its uh, beds and roses and vegetables. Everything's in bloom here in Oakland. It's so nice to be here with nature. I can't believe I'm, I'm not staring at a monitor. It's weird. So, the first thing you need to do in permaculture practice is to observe your surroundings. You need to follow the existing lay of the land and design in to what's here. It's not about taking a bulldozer and making it something else. Permaculture is about designing with nature. And you'll find that in this garden. They've put in some rocks and some chips and they just uh, let, let it grow. It's, it's beautiful. They have uh, ways to catch energy here with solar, and that's appropriate now, technology-wise. What we have uh, also in the community garden is recycling, reuse of material, composting, that goes uh, back in a cycle, a cycle idea of ecology. So, in the Oakland community garden, there really isn't any waste. We want to always put it back in the land as a nutrient. We see lots of examples of how they are integrating design elements uh, in a nice harmony here. It's not like uh, your, your, your lawn up in Concord uh, with its pesticide laden uh, topping. This is integrated into the land as a, oh, a total solution. This is a beautiful example of how the landscapers and gardeners and permaculturists are promoting a diversity. A diversity for the people who come here that have access to it, the diversity in the plant life, and the diversity in the symbology of uh, the forms. So permaculture is all about diversity from people to plants to uh, reuse. I have uh, six symbols of permaculture, alchemic symbols that I wanted to turn you on to. What I'm trying to do is invent new ways to symbolize uh, positive um, work or values. Um, my charge really is to recreate a, a sacred out of a planet that's not really sacred at all. And so I need to have foundation tools and elements. And these, these six are a start at key symbology in permaculture. It's smoke and fire. 
Um, that's a classic uh, burning and uh, alchemic transformation from solid to, to, to liquid, to, from solid to smoke. Um, also, I wanted to include a, a fire because if people are coming from different parts of the world to make a permaculture community happen, a lot of times they won't have uh, the language that we would have. So I'm trying to figure out symbols that get to really simple stuff. So here, make a fire. Oh, I understand what that what that means. So at a real base level, these symbols have to work to communicate across cultural barriers. It kind of speaks to how we're treating the world and the land and uh, taking waste in making it into a positive nutrient. We're being better stewards when we take stuff out of the waste stream and put it back in, into a into a harmonious ecology. That's what's happening in this community garden here. Planting from last year's seed crop, uh, starting another cycle of uh, vegetables, fruits, so we can be nourished by the garden here. Localization is a really critical component in what I'm calling the permaculture age or the tr transition to permaculture. We need to bring back and scale back our use of resources and start to be more self-sufficient and more of a neighborhood scale. So the well is a place for people to meet. It's a place, place to protect the water source and a place to communicate around. The well was the precursor to uh, the water cooler in the office, I suppose or you would sit around and gossip and then take your water. I think the soil represents diversity in a real quick way because it has uh, particles from years ago and it also has new particles, new nutrient, new matter that just sort of folded into it. So soil to me represents a composite of all kinds of different things, all kinds of cultures, times, good times, bad times, the soil has a sort of record, a record to it, and it really uh, is something that is so basic to everyone, uh, all across the spectrum, rich, poor, black, white, um, it's sort of an archetype of, of humanity to me. Um, the harvest is symbolized by a basket because that's what collects all of our, our uh, fruits and vegetables at the end of the year. It is uh, kind of hearkening back for me to um, the Quakers and, and the folks who came here originally. They had these huge uh, cornucopia, um, fruits and vegetable layouts with these, with these homemade um, mesh baskets. And so the basket to me uh, talks about community and it talks about this harvest time and a celebration. First of all, alchemy is a spiritual process. It's an action. It's communication. Alchemy really isn't a mystery. It's just, a, it's just another way of looking at being a loving, uh, loving person acting in a sacred way uh, with a consciousness. I have uh, determined a couple of uh, different types of alchemy, and I'll try to list those now. Imagination, I think, is a really powerful alchemy because our minds are always transforming information and ideas into the next level of idea. So imaginative alchemy is important. From birth to death, we're always trying to come up with the next idea and doing the right thing. Eco alchemy talks about some of the things we, we learned at the community garden. Eco means ecology, interrelatedness, systems approach. So eco-alchemy is the energy that we put into that system. 
and uh, that spirit for the for the garden for us. There is a shamanic alchemy that I've identified. I'm talking here about ceremony. Uh, shamanic al alchemy is about the ritual of transformation. And it's probably the most common and um, historic of the alchemy types that I've identified. There are lots of shaman and there's lots of phony shaman around. So the key is to figure out what shamans are doing the right thing and what are just promoting them themselves. You have to be wary of it. One really interesting thing is uh, sound or sonic alchemy. These, uh, these are sound waves that we produce when we hit a guitar or we sing. And I think that's one of the most primal uh, forces or alchemic spirits that we have, this, this vocalness that we, we sing to uh, each other, we sing to the gods. Sound alchemy, very important stuff. We use our computers all the time. We're using uh, a computerized video camera right now. This is about digital alchemy. This is about digital, um, this is about transforming uh, electrons into shape, into photographs, into video. Um, it's probably not something you think about often, but digital uh, alchemy is about communication, it is about action, and if there's the right spirit behind it, then it satisfies that definition. We're here in Oakland at this beautiful community space, this park, and what I've identified here is a community alchemy where people are getting together and talking with each other and planning about planning the future. It's about people to people, people to place. And community alchemy, I think, is uh, something we need a lot more of in this transitional period coming. And uh, finally, I would, I would like to pose that there is an earth alchemy, an earth alchemy that gives the earth a consciousness, that puts the earth in the center of this transmutation, this change. We're seeing this uh, vividly in Japan, and certainly we're seeing it in the wars that are happening in northern Africa. So the planet is a part of alchemy in an alchemic process. I'm calling that Earth Alchemy. So there's a lot of different types of alchemy out here. You can plug them in, you can see how they work, and they can benefit your life, I think, very much. We are at the door to the future. Pretty heavy door, but together I think we can open it. What I want to talk about right now to end the video, to end the journey, uh, surrounds current, current uh, sources of uh, symbology and um, universal power. Two things from my research are important. One is uh, the dark green religion movement, which uh, is based on uh, pagan uh, respect for the, for the world and, and life, uh, humility towards the earth and to all people. And uh, dark green religion also talks a lot about interdependence and a mutual influence and respect. It's a really great book by Bron Taylor about dark green religion. You should check it out. It, it talks a lot about where we're at in, in, our, in our culture and the chaos and in the transition ahead. Dark green religion is critical. The second thing I wanted to talk about briefly was the power of rock music. Uh, if you think about it, band names and titles of CDs, names of song, often have important clues and uh, deeper meanings for us. Rock music is all about artwork as well, and uh, the symbology of that uh, CD cover gives us added punch 
added mythic meaning. So when uh, musicians combine song lyric with symbols, new mythology can come forth. Um, in conclusion, I owe a debt of gratitude to Joseph Campbell and his, his power of myth, his uh, ancient study of myth and archetype. I wanted to acknowledge that. And I wanted to uh, ask that you think about taking your own journey, be it in Oakland or the Bronx or South LA or Austin, Texas. Take a journey, look around, look at the symbols, try to think about how you can apply some new alchemy. It's all about your own backyard, it's about permaculture, and it's about getting through these doors because together we can get through to the future. Thanks for coming.